Good evening, sorry about that. I had to adjust my um, iPad. I, I didn't have the volume full up, so I do apologize if uh, my head went all a bit whizzy there. So uh, I can see you joining, nice to see you all. Um, yes, good evening, welcome, and welcome to um, regular Tuesday night, night prayer Compline. Um, yes, my name is uh, Dave, Dave Jenner, one of the church wardens at St George's Church um, in Enfield, Freezy Water. Um, so welcome you tonight for joining. Um, and uh, yes, we'll we'll make a start. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, and heal us by your Spirit, and rise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams, defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful fault may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Thank you, and good evening to those who are joining. Nice to see you and join us tonight. Much appreciated. Um, now we have the psalm for today, and the psalm for today is number Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for it is good for the just to sing praises. Praise the Lord with the lyre, on the ten-stringed harp sing his praise. Sing for him a new song, play skilful with shouts of praise. For the, the word of the Lord is true, and all his works are sure. He loves righteousness and justice. And the earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all their hosts by the breath of his mouth. He gathers up the waters of the sea as in a water skin, and lays up the deep in his treasury. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Stand in awe of him, all who dwell in the world. For he spoke, and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him, on those who wait in hope of his steadfast love, to deliver their soul from death, and to feed them in time of famine. Our soul waits longly for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Indeed, our heart rejoices in him, and his holy name have we put our trust. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us, as we have set our hope on you. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Okay, we have now our first hymn. As you know, I'm a regular with two hymns. Um, and... The two for tonight are sort of uh, chosen between Easter 3 and then this Sunday um, is Easter 4. And, um, oh, it started already. You'll probably know this one. Um, Be Thou My Vision. So, let's...
Yes, that was um, Be Thou My Vision, um, lovely sung by the King's College Choir in Cambridge. Okay, now we have um, the scripture reading for today, as we know, is the 3rd of May. Um, and it's taken from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 15 to end. For this reason, ever since I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all God's people, I have not stopped giving thanks to God for you. I remember you in my prayers and ask the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, to give you the Spirit who will make you wise and reveal God to you, so that you will know him. I ask that your minds may be opened to see his light, so that you will know what is the hope to which he has called you. How rich are the wonderful blessings he promises his people. And how very great is his power at work in us who believe. The power working in us is the same as the mighty strength, which he used when he raised Christ from death and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly world. Christ rules there above all heavenly rulers, authorities, powers and lords. He has a title superior to all titles of authority in this world and in the next. God put all the things under Christ's feet and gave him to the church as supreme Lord over all things. The church is Christ's body, the completion of him who himself completes all things everywhere. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay, now we move on to the the prayer um, for today. So if you're able to, we bow our heads in this prayer. Almighty Father, who in your great mercy gladden the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord, Give us such knowledge of his presence with us, that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life, and serve you continually in righteousness and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Okay, now we have um, the second hymn for tonight, which yet again, as I said earlier, is from Easter 3 to Easter 4. Um, and let me just find it. Oh, what's happened? All right, the, the one, you'll probably know this, um, I haven't heard it for quite a while, very nice hymn. Um, it's the King of Love, My Shepherd Is. There's a couple of tunes of this, a couple of tunes of this hymn, but this is probably the one that, if you know this hymn, this is the one you will probably know.
Thank you. That was, um, yes, our second hymn, uh, The King of Love, My Shepherd Is. I hope you uh, enjoyed the two chosen for tonight. Um, okay, now we, um, we have the Lord's Prayer before our conclusion and the finish. Um, so if you're able to, we we'll bow our heads and we we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, and your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us, and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And in peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, and so do we look for you, O Christ and come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. And the Lord bless us, and watch over us, and the Lord make his face shine upon us, and be gracious to us. And the Lord look kindly on us, and give us peace. Amen. Well, I'd like to thank you all for joining us tonight on Night Prayer. Uh, Compline on Tuesday and I wish you a peaceful rest of your evening and for the rest of the week and I normally say yes I will again I'll probably see you on Sunday at church either in, in church or online and um, thank you so God bless and have a peaceful night and I will see you soon thank you <laughs>